Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. I would recommend Angel Care to anybody. They have really helped me regain my strength. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. I couldn't have survived this without Angels Care. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching and thanks to our producer, Jeff Durall. We're at Forsyth Library on the campus of Fort Hayes State University in the area that's commonly known now as the Makerspace area, which is in the basement of Forsyth Library with the director of the Fort Hayes State University Honors Program, Matt Means. And Matt, let's begin, if we could, about uh, the Honors Program. Give us a definition, would you? Well, an Honors College is designed to prepare high-achieving students to be leaders in the communities that they will embrace after they are finished with college. It is also designed to give them a more rigorous curriculum. It's designed to give them a suite of benefits, services and rewards for their accomplishments so far and it's designed to develop a sense of family and networking amongst each other so that they leave college with a true familial sense of the last four years. It's kind of like a fraternity then if you will, huh? Yes and having been involved in one of those and still volunteering for one of those very actively I can say that the benefits of being in that kind of a relationship with other peers is very very valuable. So Matt is this uh, honors program now in the formative stage would you say is that a fair assessment? It is and we are very far along in the formative stage we will welcome our inaugural first incoming class in August. There will be some students who are upperclassmen who are already in a predecessor program to the Honors College that will be involved in the Honors College come fall. So we will actually have a full spread of freshmen through seniors mm. in the Honors College once it begins in August. But right now we've been very busy focusing on recruiting our first freshman incoming class mm -hmm. and some transfers that will start in August. And what are we talking about numbers wise? Our goal for the, for the fall is to have approximately 35 in the program. Our goal is to bring in 10 new freshmen to the Honors College for that inaugural class. And the deadline for final application submission is April 1st. It's coming up very quickly. But as of this point, we have already selected and admitted nine. So we're 90% of the goal there with several days yet left. So, uh, Is the application process basically closed then for this new class, the first class, if you will? No, we can still accept materials all the way until April 1st. Mm -hmm. And we anticipate that there will probably be somewhat of a rush here in the last few days. So. Uh, now, where will these students come from? really all over. The students that we have already admitted so far hail from as far as the Denver area in Colorado. We have one coming from Boise, Idaho. We of course have many coming from Kansas and we have have some prospective applicants from all the contiguous states in the region. Uh, you came on board in January and actually uh, started the process uh, around Christmas break, right? That's right. It's been a very recent development. Um, why was the program created? Well, President Martin is a true visionary in the sense of wanting to support the best and the brightest at Fort Hayes. She really believes that the bright students at Fort Hayes State University add immeasurably to the experience, the entire college experience, and she wants to create a welcoming and inviting atmosphere for future high achieving students. And it was really because of her vision and because of her motivations that the Honors College is taking off at Fort Hayes State University. Sounds to me like it would be a nice transition from the Honors Program right to Fort Hayes State. Yes, anybody, any student who is involved in any kind of an honors curriculum in high school, whether that was an international baccalaureate program, some high schools in Kansas and around the area have those programs, or they were heavily involved in AP classes, those kinds of students would be right at home in our honors college. What's the goal as uh, the director of the program, Matt? What, what do you hope to accomplish with these young people coming in? Well, I would say that there are probably three goals. First of all, we want to try and again create a familial sense among the students who we admit, uh, there are several honors programs, honors colleges around the state of Kansas that have different focuses than ours. Some of them are enrollment driven. Some of them make it very easy for students to become involved in their honors program. But our program is very much focused on quality and that personal touch, which has always been a hallmark of Fort Hayes State University. 
So that is why even at the very largest projections, we're not anticipating our program getting much beyond 200, even 10 years down the road. And we will consider ourselves to be at full maturity once we hit about 80, which we anticipate in about four to five years. So we want to have a, a target enrollment size that is going to make it easy to form those kinds of relationships both between students and faculty staff and student to student as well. So that's one goal. I would say another goal certainly is to enhance the visibility and recognition of honor students generally on the campus mm -hmm. and in the community. And to that end, we are offering three new scholarships targeted specifically for students who have high ACT scores. One of those is a full ride award for students who have 33 and higher ACTs. Another is a $10,000 scholarship for 32 ACT. Um, recipients and another one is a $6,700 scholarship for 31 ACT recipients. So we're, these are all new scholarships, they're all renewable and they're all designed again to give recognition to these kinds of students. And I would say that the third goal is to see what kind of an effect these students and this cohort has basically on the entire campus generally academically mm -hmm. because we often find that the best way to improve academic performance in a variety of situations is not with a proverbial stick but with a proverbial carrot and I think that being involved in classes generally with other high achieving students who are not reticent and who are engaged in their experience we are hoping will also bring others up to that standard. Boy, it's nice to have those scholarships available for those who certainly have the ability, but maybe not the financial. That's a very important com uh, component of this, Matt. It is, you know, and previously the university had had a full ride scholarship, but the sole criterion was to achieve national merit semifinalist status. Mm -hmm. But we have changed that so that a student could be a national merit semifinalist or finalist, or if they did not take that test or achieve that status, if they got the 33 ACT score or higher, they would still be eligible for that award. And that is a relatively rare kind of option for those kinds of students amidst our landscape in the region. So we are truly trying to provide as many incentives as we can so that these high achieving students, no matter where they hail from, will find Fort Hayes State University to be their destination of choice. Matt, you've already touched on a couple of the benefits. Uh, one of the uh, uh, concept of uh, the familial uh, situation, also the benefits to the student. Uh, give us a couple of others of the honors program that might be a benefit to the students who will be in it. Well, one of the very exciting things about this is that for the first time in the history of Fort Hayes State University, we're going to have dedicated honors housing on campus. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was a survey done of current high achieving students and they chose floors in McMindus Hall to be the destination for high achieving students who were going to be entering the program as freshmen. All freshmen who come into our Honors College will be required to live on that Honors floor once they come to school here. But even more exciting than that, there are some plans in the works to, of course, construct some new residence facilities on campus. And mm -hmm. it's my belief that by the time of fall 2017, our Honors College students will be moving into that brand new facility. So if you are selected for our Honors College, you're going to have, regardless of whether it's this coming fall or within a couple years hence, a very, very attractive housing option mm -hmm. um, that will ensure that your success is, environmentally speaking, mm -hmm. almost guaranteed. That's one b benefit. Another benefit is that there are going to be a select number of Encore tickets, free Encore tickets, throughout the season of the Encore season for Honors College students, which of course is a very attractive um, incentive because those are fantastic performances and they're of a very high quality. And then our honor students are also going to be automatically enrolled in what's called our Leadership Training Institute, or LTI. And the LTI mm -hmm. is going to be a separate value-added curriculum that's going to be focused mm -hmm. primarily on training these honors college students to be leaders, to mm -hmm. know what it's like to resolve conflict, to handle disagreement, to facilitate a discussion, to lead a meeting, and to really learn the skills that are necessary for them to be community participants in the truest sense once they're done here. Uh, talk to the parents for a moment, Matt, and tell them preparation-wise for students, uh, what do the parents need to know? Well, in terms of hard statistics, the minimum requirements to be considered for our Honors College is a 28 or higher ACT. The student needs to have at least a 3.5 or higher cumulative high school GPA. 
They need to submit a resume. They need to submit a letter of recommendation, and they need to submit two essays. Mm -hmm. So we really are looking at the total picture here in terms of uh, prospective students. It's not just an academic criterion, but it's really a total package kind of endeavor. We want to see evidence of prior leadership. We want to see inquisitiveness and curiosity, intellectually speaking. We want to see that they're fantastic writers and that they can uh -huh. express themselves on paper. And we want to see that they have an outlook for their future that is not vague and is geared towards success. So we are offering a huge range of benefits and a, a really attractive suite of um, opportunities for them because in looking at their applications, we are selecting the best of the best and the ones who are really involved in the broadest sense in making sure that their life is maxed to full capacity. That word well-rounded certainly seems to come to mind in your description, Matt. Well-rounded is valuable, but at the same time, we will also look very carefully at somebody who has achieved excellence in one particular area. So, for example, if we had two prospective honors college candidates and one was involved in 15 activities, but they were simply a member that participated, but another applicant was involved in one or two activities, but were a president and were true visionaries in moving that organization forward, and somehow that second candidate would actually be more attractive than the first. Ah. Um, how did you become involved in the honors program? Well, about eight years ago, I was asked to do some work with high achieving students at this university in a very small, limited kind of capacity. And I found very soon in that work that I loved it and I loved the students that I was working with. And over that period of time, in the past eight years, one of the groups that I uh, founded, the Fort Hayes Honor Society, grew from eight years ago 20 students to now 222 students. And another program that I started, the Distinguished Scholars Program, has achieved a 99% retention rate of students selected for it. That's actually the predecessor program to our Honors College. And so this has really sort of become a side passion for me, um, something I very much enjoy doing. And President Martin and I had several discussions in the fall as I was trying to bring her up to speed on the state of high achieving student initiatives. And it was literally the day before Thanksgiving that she posed the question to me, would I consider doing this in a more substantive capacity? And I, and I thought about that very carefully, and I took her up on it after, after a lot of considered judgment. So. But you didn't say no to music either. No, music has always been sort of my raison d'etre, my reason for li living, and it will always be a passion of mine, obviously since childhood. And I still plan to stay in, very involved in musical activities, certainly performing. That's always been a big, big um, focus Concert master with the Hayes Symphony. We will see. We will see. This semester I've taken a break from that responsibility to focus on my Honors College mm -hmm. activities. But Still uh, playing, though. Oh, still playing in many, many different yeah. orchestras. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, yes, I've been and, in several uh, states this week. Masterworks coming up, as a matter of fact. The symphony will be playing for the Masterworks concert. That's right, Brahms' is German Requiem, a, ah. a true masterpiece, a wonderful piece of music. So you'll be out, uh, out front there, I violinist. Will, well, I will likely be in the audience for that. <laughs> in the audience for that. Okay. <laughs> but I have to tell you, it's very... Not enough practice time, right, yeah, it's, a, it's very rewarding, actually, being in the audience and watching an ensemble that you performed in for 12 years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's really a, a joy. And uh, I'm sure they welcome your critique. Ah, well, they certainly welcome my collegiality in any sense. <laughs> did you have AP classes in high school, Matt? I did. Unfortunately, my own high school was not an international baccalaureate school. Um, that is a fantastic program that really, truly is uh, geared towards focusing high-achieving students on breadth and depth of intellectual capacity. But I did avail myself of several AP classes in high school. Loved them all, mm -hmm. uh, loved the conversations that took place, loved my peers who were involved, involved in them, and again, those students would be right at home in our Honors College. And finally, what uh, does music do for you? Oh, it fulfills me in so many dimensions, and it's not just the performing of it, but it's also the teaching of it. Ah. There are so many times when I find myself teaching a student a musical concept, and I think, I should be doing that myself at least as often as they are, more, more often more than the, what I'm asking them to do. The teacher learns from the student, vice versa. It's a very, very much a revolving kind of a construct, yes, intellectually speaking. But music is, is, has been, at times, my best friend. Um, at certain instances, what I felt to be my only friend, and so I will 
pay tribute to it and be involved with it, certainly for the rest of my life and as long as I'm physically able to do so. so. We certainly hope so. <laughs> well, thank we you. look forward to many more with Matt Means. Now, the director of the Fort Hayes State University Honors Program from Forsyth Library, our community connection. Thanks for watching. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. There's not any words to describe their kindness. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angels Care Home Health, we serve patients. They saved my life.